Hi everyone, welcome to another video, The Beauty Expert here. Today I want to do a little DIY with you guys and I want to try out uh, making our own bath salts with doTERRA essential oils. So what you're going to need is Epsom salts. I get these at the bulk barn. You can also buy big jugs of them at Walmart, at Costco. Um, so Epsom salts. You're going to need baking soda, sea salt, and essential oils of your choice. So this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I thought it would be a nice idea to add to some Christmas gifts this year and I know I love bath salts and I love my essential oils so I thought this would be like a fun little DIY that would be really quick to show you guys. So I'm just gonna take a stainless steel bowl. I've got a cup of Epsom salts already measured here so I'm gonna put that right in there. If I had a camera person, then I could probably show this to you guys a little bit easier. I'm just going to grab a fork. Just to clean up, there's like some clumpy bits in there, so I'm just going to smash those up with a fork, get everything nice and chopped up. So this is something that you guys can do at home. Most people have baking soda and sea salt in the house. The Epsom salts are really easy to get. You can do any fragrance that you like for these. Um, I'm doing a bunch of different ones um, because they are gonna be Christmas gifts, so I'm gonna do different ones for different people. Um, and I've got different sizes of mason jars, but this batch will basically fill one big mason jar. Um, you could do two jars about this size with this same recipe. I did that yesterday just to sort of try it out before I showed you guys. Um, but I'm gonna do a big jar because this one's for me. So I've got the Epsom salts nicely sort of smooshed up. I've got all the big chunks out of there. And then you're gonna add a quarter of a cup of baking soda right in there. Mix that up. My baking soda is chunky too, for some reason. <clears throat> so you're just going to chop that up, mix it up really good. Make sure there's no big chunks in there. And then you're going to take your sea salt and you're going to do a quarter of a cup of that as well. I didn't have coarse sea salt in the house. I cook with sea salt, so that's what we're using. But if you had coarse sea salt, um, you could use that. The um, Himalayan salt would be nice. Um, this is just happened to be what I had on hand, and I've done it before, and it works perfectly fine. So you're going to have a quarter of a cup of that. It's about a quarter of a cup. Toss that right in the bowl. Give it a good mix. Now that everything's nice and chopped up, I'm going to grab a spoon. Sorry, next time I'll have everything right in front of me. So I'm just using the spoon to give it a really good mix. I can actually like taste the salt in the air. <laughs> so everything's nicely mixed up in this bowl. Just looks like a bowl of white stuff. So you've got a cup of Epsom salts, a quarter of a cup of baking soda, a quarter of a cup of sea salt. Then you're gonna add your oils. So today I'm gonna do for my own personal well-being, I'm going to do a combination of Citrus Bliss, which is emotionally uplifting. Anything citrus makes you feel happy, makes you feel awake, makes you feel alive. Um, and I'm going to do Balance, which is the doTERRA grounding blend. So that really helps me with my anxiety. So these two together really help me if I'm in a funk. And it's been a tough couple of weeks. So this is what we're doing. Now... I will link below the recipe that I'm using. I just found it on Pinterest. There's a lot of different ones. Some of them you just use the Epsom salts. Um, some of them you add, you know, vegetable oil and different things like that. A lot of them you do add food coloring. I'm not a fan of artificial colors, flavors, anything like that. If it can be more natural, why not? I don't care what color it is. It's going to be white. Um, so the recipe recommended 8 to 10 drops. I do like things to be like well fragranced, so I'm going to do six drops of each right in the bowl. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sort of doing them scattered throughout the bowl. And then six of the bat of the citrus bliss. Five, six. Oops, might have gotten seven. Doesn't matter. And then I'm gonna go back in with the fork because if I can show you guys. It clumps up where you put the essential oil. So you're just gonna take your fork and you're just gonna mash it. <laughs> you're just gonna break everything up so everything's really well mixed in. So you've got that nice essential oil all blended into your salts. This one does have sort of a little bit of a yellow look to it now because the Citrus Bliss has sort of an orangey yellow color. So I've got everything all mixed up and fluffed up with the fork. Now you guys can see it's all blended in, all looks just like snow in there. Then you just take your empty mason jar. These have been through the dishwasher. I have run them through the dishwasher to sanitize them because they may or may not have had jam in them. And I just take a spoon in there and I spoon it right into the mason jar to fill it up. Once I have it like almost halfway filled, I can sort of scoop it in from the bowl right into the mason jar. So now I'm going to have these nice big jars to give out at Christmas time. I love I love doing the big jars. I know it's a little bit more costly. However, normally when you put Epsom salt in your bath, you usually put about a cup in there. So when you get these gifts, sorry, I'm like clanging the bowl with the spoon. When you get these gifts, you know, in these little jars, I mean, these are cute. These are great. This is an old Epicure jar. Um, I do love these. However, I mean, it's really like a one-time use, unless you're just gonna put like a tablespoon in. If you can give people these nice big jars, they could put a cup in the bath twice, or they could do a half a cup or a quarter of a cup a few times, but they're gonna get a few uses out of each jar, and to me that makes a really nice gift. I don't wanna do a one-time use as a gift, if I was gonna sample it out to clients or something like that, then I might do some small jars, but I think this makes a really nice gift. I'm gonna put some nice stickers on the top. My mom said she has some ribbon <laughs> she's gonna give me to tie around the tops. Um, so these are gonna go into the closet to give away at Christmas time. Um, I also think I'm gonna try my hand at making a homemade Vicks Vapo Rub and some shower melts. So I will DIY those with you guys when I get around to it. Um, if you like this, let me know. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, hit the like button, leave me comments. Um, I love to read the comments. So hit me up, check me out on social media, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.